fenders on Whew. next year boys we're gonna have some fun i got some shit up to sleep too i can't even wait so y'all see this next stuff i'm up to it ain't even nothing to do with her but oh man look at this damn truck man i don't know i could look at this truck all day long i could sit in a, in a lawn, lawn chair outside and just look at it i mean it's got a lot of ways to go but that's how i, I get my direction definitely gotta polish them wheels but let's see how this load's doing now i picked it up last night in this damn florida heat well last night it wasn't hot you're supposed to have it at negative 20. i don't necessarily run my stuff that hard um but i know i'm going to walmart and they like to check the trailer temps sometimes so now i'm gonna put this bad boy on continuous and pump it down because i gotta it don't deliver till like eight o'clock tonight but i'm gonna pump it down a little bit and um get that airflow to make sure that ice cream stays nice and hard so that's the last thing you want to do is deliver soft ice cream especially to a place like walmart they don't like that stuff i wonder if blue beacon had just washed just the trailer because this trailer is just filthy man i we washed the truck but man this trailer needs some l-o-v-e <laughs> look at that shine Ooh, look at that shine yeah, but uh, here we go. She cranked up. Yeah, I want to keep that airflow. I only got about maybe, maybe this much of the trailer of ice cream in there. Anyway, it's not like it's a full load, but it's the best time of year to kind of stick around in Florida because uh, it's produce season. So you can you can make good money sticking, not leaving the state. There's another state like that, Texas, boy. It was, if I moved, that was one of the states I would have moved to and I would have never left the state of Texas because you can make good money in Texas. I used to haul loads from, um, right, you know, one of my, my guys that lived in uh, Waco for a long time and um, what I used to do with that dude is I would haul loads from, um, oh shit, you know what, let me make sure this bad boy, the batteries ain't dead. Um, where's my keys? Um, I'd haul loads from Wisconsin dry down to uh, um, Texas, Dallas, Texas, because Wisconsin or um, Chicago area, because the rates are pretty much the same for a dry or a reefer load going to Texas. Texas rates are just very soft unless it's a big LTL load. Um, it should be good. I gotta get over here to the barbershop, y'all. I look, I look like an old man. But uh, the ice to haul loads. In the Dallas, basically make my own kind of LTL run. Like I would go to Dallas for like 3,500, and then I would go down from from Dallas to Houston with an, um, with another load for. Sometimes it'd be LTL, sometimes it'd be a truck load, but it'd be shit, same difference for uh, anywhere from 800 to 1,500, depending on how many drops. It was mostly like AGB stuff. But that's how I make it. You know, you got 35 there, another grand at least, 45 there. And then I would come out of uh, Houston with uh, lima beans and stuff like that back up to Chicago for like 2,500. So that was, that's that's some money for y'all. So for you guys that want to know how money, how money works, especially going to Texas, Florida. I don't know if I want to let that Florida money out the bag yet. getting the ice cream off now. Walmart typically, well, I guess it's after the Christmas season, but they typically, during Christmas season, they let you check in three hours early. This joker, I got here at like 7.15, they was like, oh, no, nah. you gotta come back at 7.30. You know, it takes 20 minutes to turn this dang truck around and get it out of your lot and back in. So basically, I made a U-turn and made another U-turn and then check right back in i'll tell you what they love wasting drivers time don't they anyways just sitting here admiring my girl I had a pretty lengthy conversation with a couple of my boys a little bit ago uh jake baker and uh 
Chase Kimball were talking building trucks and, and directions when building trucks and uh, you know how it's a lot easier to to work very very hard on one than try to go hard on two it's just it's real hard but yeah we all trying to apply that pressure this year boys I want to see more of y'all flying that pressure this year too, boys. And girls, because y'all know there's ladies out here doing this too. I'm going to try to catch some more of y'all ladies out here too. But yeah, I'm just sitting back. This is my uh, this is my last load for this year, you know? So it's one of those uh, reflection times where you think about 21 and where you're going to go in 22, you know? So I know uh, this ice cream. Hopefully they take it all, cause every time I haul ice cream, I always get a bunch of it. And then ice cream is, you would think it's easy to get rid of with people, but it's not so easy to get rid of. And it's not so easy to keep in your trailer until some people want to come and get it. So yeah, but anyways, in 2022, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun this year. I got a lot of, a lot of little issues I want to iron out. We're going to get it right, boys and girls.